so I am in Michigan right now. My mom lives on a lake here and it's about a three hour drive from Indianapolis so that was a big reason I took a travel assignment this summer in Indy so I could drive on the weekends to visit my mom. So we are going to do a what I spend in a week <laughs> so you'll get to see. So we're going to start off here while I'm driving back to Indianapolis. Today is Sunday and I have to work tomorrow. So it will be interesting to see what I spend and I think it'll be helpful. Okay, so I am back. I just got back to Indiana from Michigan. So I did stop at the grocery store, Whole Foods, it's right by me. Whole Foods can be pretty pricey, but their stuff is definitely high quality. So I stopped at Whole Foods and I spent $46.54 and that's basically my food for the entire week. I might, you know, go out here and there, but that usually covers all my lunches and a couple dinners. And then I did stop on the road for lunch from Michigan to Indiana because it's a three and a half hour drive. I got a Crunch Wrap Supreme and I spent $5.29 and that will be the conclusion of my spending today because I am tired and I don't plan on going out the rest of the day. due today. Today is August 1st. Oh, my rent, okay, $2,100. I live in a studio apartment here in Indianapolis. It is really new and cute. It's in a cute neighborhood, but it was very difficult for me to find affordable housing in Indianapolis. I think part of it is just because there's not a lot of competition here. This isn't like a vacation area, so it was just really hard. Also, rent is just going up. That's just the economy that we live in right now. It's just very hard to find affordable housing. When I was in St. Louis, my rent was a lot cheaper. It was like $500 cheaper um so yeah i think it's just a mixture of prices going up and just a lack of inventory in the area so yes that's all i spent today And I usually treat myself to a nice cup of coffee from a local coffee shop on my days off. So you saw me with that this morning and that was $5.66. And then I went out to lunch and I spent $14.14 .14 on lunch. And it was a pretty big lunch, so I'm gonna have leftovers. So I'll probably either take that with me to work tomorrow or I'll eat it for dinner tonight. And then I got a notice from Illinois. I guess when I was driving from Texas to Indiana, I went through a toll and so I had to pay $18 for a toll in Illinois. So that, that part was no fun, but the food was fun. <laughs> So today I just went to CVS and I spent $48 and four cents and I just had to get some essentials like wine, obviously, toilet paper. I got some snacks, some mouthwash, just some essential things that I needed. Hey guys, happy Saturday. So I got some coffee this morning and this was $5 and 66 cents. I'm on my way to visit my friend and she lives like 45 minutes-ish from Indianapolis. She did ask me to stop and get her some milk because she ran out. So I got her the milk that she wanted and it was $3.99. And for some reason, Indiana doesn't tax certain grocery items. So there was no tax on this. So that was pretty good. That sushi was so, so good. So I had dinner with my friend and my bill was $31.25. And so this is the total that I spent for the week with it being a more pricier week than normal because I had to pay rent. If you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment so that I know to do more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.